turned it phenomenon. So Marina Wari, give her a round of applause, everybody. So first of all, I just want to say that I'm so blessed and I'm so excited for next three days because uh, we have people from all over the world. I, I don't even know how many countries we have. We have almost 70,000 people who are connecting us from all the continents, from pretty much every country, and we're translating it in multiple languages. But what I'm most excited about is this event is about the breakthrough, the transformation that is going to happen for all of you for the next three days. It's going to be so powerful and so amazing. Like Fabian said, like like Fabian said, if you play full out, if you give you 100%, you will be amazed how much you can transform in the next three days. Because er this studio just happened to be one of the, like Eric said, the responses to COVID situation. And because, you know, we had an event uh, that we were hoping to have live, and then the whole pandemic changed everybody's lives and we're still dealing with this problem. But what we did is we created the opportunity for all of us to come together. And I'm sure you already heard that from Eric before, the formula for success that he and I share together. It's say yes, tell the world, and figure it out. So this lady is Eric Warren's wife. She's also a professional network marketer. She assists women on how to go professional. So this is more like an introduction. She wants to use this opportunity to introduce the husband. So what I want to... What I want you to think about in the next three days, who do you wanna become? Who do you wanna become in your network marketing career? Who do you wanna become in your life? Who do you wanna become as a spouse or as a significant other for your friends, for your family, for your team? And say yes to that person. Say yes to that person. Say yes to those dreams. Say yes to all the transformation that is about to happen. Don't worry about how. A lot of people confuse the two and they want to think about like, oh, how it's going to happen, how I'm going to make it next train, how I'm going to achieve the next income level or whatever it might be. Don't worry about the how. Just make a decision what you want it to be, what your dream is, what your life look like, and who do you want to become. And during those three days, we're going to help you. We're going to equip you with the tools and ideas necessary so you can go out. And after those three days, don't do it yet. But three days from now, go out and tell the world. Tell the world about your dreams. Tell the world about who you're about to become. And, and then figure it out. So, Eric, this is your show. I'm a guest. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving it back to you. Everybody, give Marina Warrior a big round of applause. You don't know how Okay, if you're excited, if you're ready to get it. Guys, can you see? People connected on Zoom live, over 100,000 people around the world. That's to tell you that this industry network marketing, me and you are, is not just a small thing. That's why I told us is the number one business industry in the world that creates a lot of millionaires that generates $167 billion per year. That's why I told us in our finishing strong, this business you have with us, the career you're having right now, don't even joke with it. Don't even dare joke with it. And that's why I'm having this training only for leaders. This training is not, only, is not men. There are training for everybody, but they are training for people that are ready to take responsibility to go to the next level. This is some training. If you're ready to start this process, put a number seven into the comments. Let me see all the seven. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Go, 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 go. Very exciting. <laughs> You know what's so fun? As I'm looking at all of you up on the screen, I see people driving. Please be safe while you're driving. I see people with kids. I see people with pets. If you have one of your pets, show your pets up on the screen. If the kids are around, show the kids. If your spouse is around, show your spouse. But it's great to see everybody all around the world. As Brina said, we have uh, approximately 70,000 people from over a hundred different countries around the world. I looked 
um, two days ago, and I lost count, but it has to be a thousand different companies that are represented. People didn't think this was even possible to do, to bring a group of people together like this around the world. So I'm proud of all of you. I'm proud of the team for helping to make this happen. And I want to start this process by number one, telling you network marketing is not perfect. It has its challenges. It's judged. It's misunderstood. It's emotional. It's hard sometimes. But if you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, there is no better place to be on earth. There's no better situation for the average person to express their entrepreneurial hopes and dreams than this profession. There's no place ever. I'll take the Pepsi challenge with anyone. I will debate anyone, anytime. There's no better opportunity. And there's a phenomenon happening in the world today. You know what that phenomenon is? People went home because of the pandemic and they stayed home. They said, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to that job that doesn't appreciate me. I'm tired of selling myself at 5% of my potential or 10% of my potential. I found a way to be able to work from home. There's never been a more golden time for network marketing than right now, than this moment. Never ever been a more golden time because the whole world is searching for a way to be able to earn from home. You have a gift. It's like there's been a global flood. And in that global flood, we have an unlimited supply of life rafts. And all we have to do today to be successful, we don't have to be tremendously gifted. We don't have to be unbelievably talented. You know what we have to be? Busy, active. We have to be talking to people. There's people within one mile from you. There's people that are friends with you on social media or follow you on different platforms. There are people right now that are praying for a solution to their, the situations that are going on in their lives. And you have the solution. So number one, we have to be busy. Number two, you need to be proud that we're in this great spot. But I will, I will tell you this. What we're going to do over these three days is we're going to equip you. We're going to empower you. We're going to help you become prepared to take advantage of the opportunity that's in front of you. Some of you have been operating below your potential and you're sick of it. Raise your hands if you're sick of operating below your potential inside of this profession. You're already in. Now, what are we going to do in order to be able to make this amazing, right? So that's what this is all about. And I want to start today by giving you seven different there's a little echo issue they're addressing it they'll make it work they'll figure it all out better tell me if it's you can know, give me a number one in the comments if it's better now cool 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 all right cool so some of you needed to hear what i just said twice so you got to hear it through the echo uh twice anyway <laughs> listen the biggest thing guess what today is about the biggest thing that changed my life in network marketing, I'm going to give you seven steps to going pro, but the biggest thing by far is what happened to me. It took me three and a half years of full-time working in network marketing to get to this stage. But you know what the stage was? I was frustrated. I was full-time. I was frustrated. I was blaming everybody else for my lack of success. I was complaining about my situation. I was beating myself up. Maybe I'm not right for this. And I remember sitting in an event just like this. Well, not just like this, but a big event. Okay. A big event. And I said, you know what? 
I'm going to become world class at this business. I'm going to become an expert, not just in theory, but in practice in this profession. So I was watching people walk across the stage and I said, why not me? And I made a decision. What I want you to understand today and this weekend is about you making a decision. Now, I thought that I'd made a decision a bunch of times because I'd been involved full time in network marketing for three and a half years. I thought I made a decision, but in truth, there were some things that could knock me out. If my top person on my team quit or if my upline was mean to me or if I wasn't appreciated appropriately or whatever it was, there was something that could knock me out of moving forward in my business. When I made the decision, I got to tell you something. When I made the decision, Esther, when I made the decision, Chelsea, when I made the decision, Ania or Ania, when I made that decision, guess what happened? All the fear and doubt and insecurity left my body. I made the decision and I had a plan. I was able to move forward once I made the decision. Things became clear. The decision's really hard to get to. Some of you, you know, that decision might be made some point during these three, three days. Some of you've made it already. Some of you are going to make it a week from today. But once you make it, I went from a six-figure earner to a seven-figure earner in 18 months. Once I made the decision. Oh, well, that's not true. Not 18 months. Uh, three years. It took me three years to get to seven figures from, from just barely at six figures. But I went from struggling, hoping to get lucky, to having a plan. So decision is everything. Write that into your notes. Make a decision. There's a lot of decisions you're going to need to make over the course of this weekend in terms of how you're going to move forward in your business. Now, let me get into the seven keys. Now, decisions involved in all of them, but the seven keys for you going pro. Number one, and these are not in any necessarily order of importance, but these are seven things that I've seen that make a difference for people as they're building their network marketing business. Number one is environment. Your environment will have a dramatic impact. And what do I mean by your environment? I mean the people that you allow into your life, the influences that you allow into your life, the sounds and the visuals that you allow into your life. For some of you, your environment is not serving you. Binge watching Netflix or listening to negative voices in the world or divisive voices in the world is not serving you. Some of you are hanging around people that are, are specifically trying to hold you back. Your environment is critical. So it has to do with your associations, the people you spend time with. It has to do with shielding yourself from negative influence and inputting as much positive influence as you, as you possibly can. And it has to do with your community, your community. For these three days, we're all part of this community. But when these three days end, you need to make sure that you're involved in a community that will support you and push you to do what you're capable of doing. So your environment's very, very important. You've got to take charge of your environment. You have to take charge of your environment. So that's number one. Number two, skills. Your skills. When I when people ask me, what would you know, what what uh, what should I do? I'm just getting started in network marketing. What should I do for success? My answer is always the same. Learn the skills. Learn the fundamentals that you need to, to understand when it comes to finding prospects and inviting them to take a look and presenting to them in a way that they can understand it. Educating the world, which is what we do. How to follow up, how to answer questions, how to overcome objections, how to close, how to get 
customers signed up, how to get distributors joining your organization, how to get people started effectively, how to promote events. Those are the seven fundamental skills. But you need to learn about duplication. You need to learn about promotion. You need to learn about the things that will serve you. And here's why. Here's why this is so important. The reason why skills are, are in my opinion, one of the most important keys to, to going pro is because when you become skilled at something, your confidence goes up. The tiniest little thing. And when your confidence goes up, you take more action. And when you take more action, What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sebastian Joseph Day here, and this could be yours. You get more results, and it makes you want to go learn more skills. If you're just out there trying to get lucky, if I learned how to tell my story when I first got involved in network marketing, that was my first little skill. I learned how to tell my story. And once I, I got it down and I practiced, I got it down, I was able and, and I was willing to tell it to more people. I told my story to my family. I told my story to my kids. I told my story to my spouse. I told my story to my downline. I told my story to prospects. I told my story anywhere I could possibly tell my story. I tell it at the beginning of a phone call. I tell it when we sat down for coffee. I would tell it when we start a little presentation. I tell it everywhere. So skills build confidence. Confidence causes you to take more action. Action causes you to get more results and it's a virtuous cycle. Up, up, up you go. The second thing I got to tell you is there are different skills for different seasons in network marketing. A lot of people don't realize this, but it's the truth. Three broad stages in a network marketing career. Three broad stages in the network marketing career. Stage number one, zero to $100,000 a year. And guess what this stage is defined by? Learning the, the basic fundamental skills and working your butt off. That's what that, that stage is defined by. And it's a little bit of a, a mind trick because when you join network marketing, they tell you, oh, you're going to have time freedom and you're going to have residual income and you're going to have duplication and you're going to have all this stuff. Guess what? In stage one, you don't get any of that. All you get is hard work, hard work. And your life is going to swing out of balance. You're not going to have time freedom in the first stage. you got to work your butt off and you have to learn the skills. Okay, that's what stage one is defined by. Stage two, broadly speaking, is 100,000 to a million. And let me tell you what a, that stage is defined by. It's defined by duplication and promotion. You can't just keep working hard with the basic fundamental skills and hope to go to a million. You can get to 100,000, but to get to a million, you're going to hear from tons of million dollar earners over the course of these three days. When you, to get to a million, you've got to learn how to duplicate yourself and you have to learn how to promote within your organization. Promote events, promote your product, promote your system, promote your tools, promote your company, promote an activity. You've got to learn about duplication and promotion. You've got to lean into that in addition to the fundamental skills. And phase three in your network marketing business, phase three in your network marketing business is a million and above. A million and above. Now to grow your business, once you're at a million, it's not just about duplication and promotion anymore. It becomes about leadership development in yourself and leadership identification mentorship and communication on your team, the duplication of more leaders on your team. The more true leaders you have on the team, the higher your income can go. Going from the million fundamental skills and working your butt off. That's what that, that stage is defined by. And it's a little bit of a, a mind trick because when you join network marketing, they tell you, oh, you're gonna have time freedom and you're gonna have residual income and you're gonna have duplication 
and you're going to have all this stuff. Guess what? In stage one, you don't get any of that. All you get is hard work, hard work. And your life is going to swing out of balance. You're not going to have time freedom in the first stage. You got to work your butt off and you have to learn the skills. Okay. That's what stage one is defined by stage two, broadly speaking is a hundred thousand to a million. And let me tell you what a, that stage is defined by. It's defined by duplication and promotion. You can't just keep working hard with the basic fundamental skills and hope to go to a million. You can get to a hundred thousand, but to get to a million, you're gonna hear from tons of million dollar earners over the course of these three days. When you, to get to a million, You've got to learn how to duplicate yourself and you have to learn how to promote within your organization, promote events, promote your product, promote your system, promote your tools, promote your company, promote an activity. You got to learn about duplication and promotion. You got to lean into that in addition to the fundamental skills. And phase three in your network marketing business, phase three, in your network marketing business is a million and above. A million and above. Now to grow your business, once you're at a million, it's not just about duplication and promotion anymore. It becomes about leadership development in yourself and leadership identification, mentorship and communication on your team. The duplication of more leaders on your team. The more true leaders you have on the team, the higher your income can go. Going from a million to two million, two million to three million, three million to four million, that all has to do with leadership in yourself and leadership duplication on your team. So throw into the chat, what stage are you in right now? One, two, or three? One, two, or three? Some ones, some threes, some twos. Okay, so Congratulations. what he just said now, I don't know. How many of us understood what he just said? Let me see you with your hand. Go to the chat box and raise your hand if you understood what he just said. He's talking about seven different um, reasons why you should become a professional in our business. Number one, he emphasized on decision. Then he said number one, environment. And number two is skills. Now on skills now, he made mention of something that is very, very important. He said that in our profession network marketing, there are different skills needed in different seasons. Get that clear. He said there are different skills needed in different seasons in our business. And the first one, he used dollars to explain, but I'm going to use the narrow equivalent of the dollars he's talking about. He said, number one is, number one skill is learning the fundamental skills and working hard that you're going to work your butt out. Meaning you work so hard in this first season of your business. And he said, this is the season where you earn between zero to six million naira. He talked about um, $100,000. So I had to convert everything to naira. He said, the first season is when you learn all the fundamental skills and keep practicing and working very hard. This season is when you have earned between zero to six million naira. I remember was at, when I was in that stage. That was when I, um, that was between 2017 to 2018. I was in that phase. Now he said, the second phase is when you've earned between the second season in your career, in our career, is when you've earned between 6 million naira to 600 million. 6 million naira to 600 million. He said this stage defined, is defined by duplication and promotion. Guys, after explaining this stage, just tell me where you are. Me, I am in this second stage. That's where I am. Between 6 million to 600 million. This is the stage where I am. I'm more focused on duplication and promotion. Now he said the third stage, the third season, and, and, there, and guess what? Duplication and promotion, the skills I need is different. The skills, like someone like me, I've undergone the first um, skill, which is learning the fundamentals and working hard. I've done that. And that's why I, it was able to make me in between zero to 6 million. I've known all that skill. 
The second stage now is people that have earned between 6 million to 600 million. He said the skills needed in this stage is different. And that's why he called it the duplication and promotion stage. That's where I myself, I am. Now he said the third stage is where people that have earned 600 million and above. He said, this is the stage of leadership, um, leadership development in oneself as a leader, leadership identification in your team, mentorship and leadership duplication in the team. Now that is where engineer often is. That is where um, our top three in Nigeria, that is where they are. These guys have made 6 million, 600 million and above. So tell me, where are you? Out of these levels, levels of um, different stages and seasons of our business towards financial freedom. He said, yes, financial freedom, but you don't get it when you're in stage one. He said, you need to work your butt off. And trust me, it's true. I worked hard. So tell me, because you need to identify where you are. Personally, I'm in number two. I'm not in number three yet. I'm in number two. And that's why I'm working really hard. Now, the skills needed in all these seasons are different. So tell me, all of you, where are you? Are you, on, on, are you a number one? Are you number one season where you, you are aiming between zero to, 600, to six, zero to six million and you're learning all the fundamental skills? Or are you in season two where you are, you are aiming six million to 600 million, where your focus is on duplication and promotion? Go to the chat box and tell me. Or are you in number three, the season three, whereby you've aimed 600 million and above? Because you need to identify your season. He said, network marketing is not the, he said something, he said, he said, let me see, where is that? In? He said, network marketing is not perfect, but if you have the entrepreneurial bone in your body, it is the best place to be. And he said, yes, it's promised financial freedom, but you need to understand that there are different seasons, guys. There are different seasons and different skills needed to financial freedom. If you're on your first season, then forget, don't even dream of financial freedom because you that is the season where you need to work hard, learn all the skill, professional, become a professional in all the skill, then do what? You work hard. He said you work your butt off. That's the truth. So tell me, go to the chat box, tell me which season are you? Are you in season one? Are you in season two? Are you in season three? Or are you in season four? Tell me. Madani Jama, you said $100 to $600 million. You're, con you're confusing me there. Meaning, Madami Jama, I am confused. Madami Jama, if I should know as your mentor, I believe you are in season one. You are in season one. So season one is from zero to six million naira. That is from zero to... Um, to, to um, um, two hundred dollar. Okay, engineer Harry said season one. Ambassador Blessing said season one. Mrs. Bami Daly said season one. The truth is, all of you here, being your your offline and your mentor, all of you here, I know your season. You are in season one. Everybody here, I asked you to identify so that I'll be sure that you are following what we are teaching. Everybody here, you are in what season one. You are in the face of zero to six million naira. And this is the season you need to work hard, work your butt off. Don't even expect financial freedom because a price must be paid. He said, this is where you work hard. And while you're working hard, you are learning the skill, perfecting in all the skills, inviting, prospecting, presenting, um, closing, follow up, team building, promotion of events. That once you've reached 6 million, then from 6 million to 600 million, that is where you now focus. That's my... That's my level. People like engineer often. That's his level is season three. So I, I, I'm really excited that all of us understood what he's saying. To freeze. And I gotta ask, how many of you that are in stage one are ready to make a decision to get yourself into stage two. Show me some hands if you're ready to get yourself into stage two. So if you're ready to get yourself Let's into get stage six two, figure go thing to the chat box and type ready. And how many in stage two are sick and tired of sitting around at that six figure thing? You want to get the seven figure thing done. 
I want to. How many people would like to do that? Let me see some hands. So some of the six figure earners. I see you. Let's get that seven figure thing done. All right. So skills, environments, number one, <coughs> skills, number two, third thing you need to learn now more than ever. You have to learn to adapt to change quickly. Most people hate change. Guess what the best entrepreneurs in the world do? They adapt to change quickly. What did we have to do? It was September of last year and we had GoPro coming up. We saw what happened in the world and we made a decision and we built this studio in order to be able to reach the world. That's an example of adapting to change quickly. But today in network marketing, guess what? If you're not actively use, utilizing social media, if you're not actively utilizing technology, if you put your head in the sand and you're waiting for things to come back to what they used to be, you're going to get demolished. Right now, network marketing is, is a tale of two cities. There are the, those who are waiting for face-to-face -to, -face to come back. They're praying for it to happen. And those who have just adapted quickly and said, I'm going to utilize social media, I'm going to, yes, when we can get back face-to-face, -face, I'll still utilize that. But you've got to learn. If TikTok is where people are getting recruits, we got to talk about TikTok. I don't care if you like it or not. We have to adapt. We have to adapt to different strategies. We have, just like we've adapted to Zoom in order to be able to connect with people, we've got to adapt. So what I want you to pay attention to, these key, this key, adapting to change quickly. You need to prepare yourself and to prepare your team because who knows what's going to happen a year from now, two years from now. So adapting to change quickly. Um, those of you that were with us before COVID-19, people like Ambassador Blessing, you saw what happened, Madam Ijoma. We are doing more of face-to-face, -face, but COVID-19, more especially Ambassador Blessing. You saw how we quickly adapted, adapted to the change and moved to Zoom, started online adverts. In fact, guys, you may not know, this year, because of the different changes of Facebook adverts, the algorithm and how things became so um, tough come, when it comes down to Facebook adverts. Personally, I've been searching, hugging, searching for how to get our team members, aside from the organic online adverts. Now I'm talking about the inorganic. I've been searching hugging since this year because Facebook dealt with people starting from last year, November, December, even to this year. They became strict with their algorithm. Running adverts became so difficult. In fact, even when you can run, the prices were so high. Professionals were cutting people's throats. And I've been searching. In fact, I'm so glad that two days ago, I discovered a channel. I discovered something that I can, I can, I can introduce to our team so that we can start more, especially not everybody, only mentors that have exhausted, that have mastered how to do the organic prospecting online. Then I can now introduce you to the what? To the inorganic prospect because if you've not mastered organic prospecting on different social media handle on your phone facebook whatsapp instagram then trust me i will not allow you to do what to go into the inorganic phase the inorganic phase is full of possibility and so much money that was what skyrocketed most of us our business 20 in last year people like ambassador blessing you can satisfy to that people like mm -hmm. uh, madame joma you can satisfy to that when we're doing online it was going so as it was awesome. It was awesome. So um, I'm going to introduce that us. But before I do that, you know, as a leader, I don't introduce things I see. I introduce things I've worked on, I've practicalized. So let me practicalize with what I just, the new discovery I just discovered. And once I see it succeeding, I'm going to introduce it to everybody. As a leader, I always want to be the pace setter. I'm not someone that will say, hey, everybody go and do this. And yet I've not done. Very important. So let's finish up. It's just remaining 15 minutes to be done. Three years from now, there'd be holograms walking around on the sidewalk. We don't know. We have no idea. But wherever it goes and whatever we need to do in order to be able to serve our teams and reach our community and help people with our opportunity, we've got to be willing to adapt quickly. Some of your compensation plans in your companies need to change because the times have changed. 
And you've got to, instead of fighting that and being afraid of it, being scared and having a scarcity mentality, you've got to embrace the fact that some change is going to need to happen. Your products may need to change. The, the, the commissions on those products may need to change. A thousand things could happen. But here's the thing. If you decide right now, I'm going to be ready to change. I'm going to pay attention to what's working in the world right now. And I'm going to prepare my team to be the fastest team in the world when it comes to accepting new things and moving into the future. Show me some hands if you're ready for that. Come on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Be ready for change. Number four. Self-investment, self-investment. Why is this so important? Here's why this is important. You're the asset, you are. It's not the building and it's not the inventory and it's not the employees and it's not the infrastructure, it's you. Show me somebody who does not invest in developing themselves and I will show you somebody who's operating at 2% of their potential. It makes no sense. Now you're all here, so you've already a, a, agreed with this concept. Hey, I'm going to invest in, my, in three days. I'm going to invest in growing my business. But you've got to learn some new skills. You need. Did you hear that? This is another one. Self investment. He said, "You, each and every one of us, we should see ourselves as the assets. If you're not investing in yourself every day, then trust me, your assets will be weak and you'll die off easily." Why do you guys think every day, that's why I do millionaire school for all of you. Every blessed day I spend, in fact, let me tell you guys something I do. Every blessed day I spend one hour into reading books. I'm investing in myself, learning new things, learning ideas. One hour I go on YouTube to invest in myself, to, to watch videos of professionals that I, I like the result they are producing and I want to be like them. Professionals that have practicalized a lot. People like Eric Warren, Matt Morris, um, Jim Rowe. I go on YouTube, I subscribe to their channels so that when they are bringing their people, top professional network marketers in Nigeria that I respect so much, I like what they are doing. And as in, I learn a lot. I spend at least one hour. In fact, every day, let me tell you, total hours I spend in self-investment, personal development is three hours. Outside what I do for the team, or me, just me, myself, alone. Out of my 24 hours, I spend three hours. I know what I do with those three hours. It's very, very important. You had a requirement saying, Show me a person that does not develop themselves, a leader that does not develop themselves, and he will show you a leader that will not do well in their business. So aside from what we teach in millionaire school, do you go to train yourself? Do you go to research? If, if, if presenting was your issue, are you watching video? Even most of our recorded videos in the millionaire school, rewatch it, rewatch it, master it. Repeat washing it so that you can learn and pick a lot of things. That's what he's trying to tell us here. To surround yourself with excellence, you need to make sure that you are operating at your prime. One of my son's best friends plays football in the NFL. Okay. And his whole career is based upon the health and the strength of his body. Pull one muscle and he doesn't get paid. Twist one ankle and he doesn't get paid. You've got, he has to invest in the development and the protection of his body in order to be able to perform. You've got to invest in the development and the protection of your mind, your skills, your strategy in order to perform at a higher level. And some of you were willing to, how many of you raise your hands if you went to uh, university, if you went to college? Raise your hands, let me see. And put into the chat, how much did you pay to go to college? How much did you pay? Put it in the chat, let me see. 290,000, 80,000. Too much, 65,000, 150,000 in debt, six figures, thousands, 25,000, 150,000. 
Now, now, how much have you invested in yourself in network marketing? Put that number into the chat. Be honest. Look at the difference between these two numbers, okay? Now, what did your college degree create for you? The degree itself, what did it create for you? Most of you aren't even using your degree. For most of you, having the degree didn't even get you the job. Sure. For most of you, it certainly didn't help you keep the job. But developing the skills here, you can go from phase one to phase two like that if you develop you. You can go from phase two to phase three like that. If you treat yourself like an income producing machine that needs to be refined, honed, developed. Think about this, it's really important. Don't skimp out on you. You're the asset. Number five. Mentors and masterminds. I've learned in my life that a mentor is a priceless thing. A mentor is a priceless thing. And I gotta tell you, let me ask you a question. What would you rather have? Okay, I'm gonna give you the first one, which is number one, and I'll give you the second one is the number two. So you'll put one or two into the chat, okay? Would you rather have a mentor that became a close personal friend that spent personal time with you, maybe came to your house, um, molded you, challenged you, took you to lunch, took you to breakfast, hung out with you, helped you get better, or two, a virtual mentor that you never met. But, did, but they gave you great information. What would you rather have, one or two? Almost all ones, almost all ones. Now, let me tell you a secret about mentors. And, and the millionaires that you know would agree with this secret. A virtual mentor is better, way better. And I'll tell you why. Jim Rohn was, was my biggest mentor in my life. He helped me so much. He passed away 10 years ago. Something like that. Yeah, about 10 years ago. But uh, Jim Rohn was amazing. And imagine Jim Rohn was a close personal friend of the family. And he agreed to come to my house when I was in my 20s, starting off in network marketing. And he had this, he had this course called The Challenge to Succeed. And he agreed to come to the house and give me personally the challenge to succeed. I'd sit on the couch and I'd take notes and he'd give me the presentation. And then he gave me his phone number. I could call him from time to time if I got stuck. Fantastic, unbelievable. Would Jim Rohn come back and give that course to me the next day again? Yes or no? No. Nod your head or shake your head. Would he come back the next day and give me the same three hours again? Nope. What, what, what about once a week? Would he do it once a week? Let's say he's really close friends with the family. Nope. Once a month? Nope. Once a year? No. He gave it to me. And I was what I was at that moment. I was able to absorb what I could absorb in that moment. But that was all I got. Here was what happened to me in real life. I didn't know Jim Rohn. I was a struggling young man. And I, but I bought his audio program called The Challenge to Succeed. And I listened to that audio program a thousand times. It was three hours long. You so didn't I know what he's saying. He's talking about mentors and masterminds. He's not talking about different mentorship. 
he's analyzing one-on-one -on -one physical mentorship, just like I am to some of us, one-on-one -on -one seen in the office, right, to some visually. Now, he's saying that he subscribed. Personally, I have a lot of mentors. Eric Warren is my mentor. He doesn't know me. I've never, uh, uh, he doesn't even know that I exist. Jim Rowe is one of my mentors, despite his death, he's dead. Jim Rowe is not alive. But if you subscribe to his channel, full, his, his followers, there's a way they dish out his content. His content are archived. Les Brown is one of my mentors, but he doesn't even know that I exist. That's what's the individual mentors. Buying audio, do you see why I say investing? People that complain about data, they are even stingy to themselves. Investing investing in yourself the best investment you can do is in yourself so that's what he's teaching us about three thousand hours of mr roan into my brain every time i i listen to it i heard something else i heard something i didn't hear before three thousand hours minimum which one was more valuable jim roan coming to my house and being my friend or jim roan being my mentor and giving me three thousand hours of him without him even realizing he was my mentor. Now, which one would you want? Him coming to your house, number one, or him being a virtual mentor, number two? Yes, I will tell you, but my greatest mentors were people that I'd never met. My, some of my greatest mentors. Now, I ultimately met Jim Rohn and we became friends, but Tony Robbins was a mentor. Elon Musk is a mentor. He doesn't know it. Jeff Bezos is a mentor. He doesn't know it. Tony Robbins is a mentor. We're friends. But he was a mentor to me for 15 years before he even knew I existed. Virtual mentors are priceless. So find yourself somebody that you can learn from, that you can grow with, that you can absorb their information, that you can take advantage of what technology can do virtually instead of having to count on somebody coming to your house and rescuing, rescuing you. You can be actively involved in your own rescue. You don't need anybody else. So create a group of mentors that are going to direct you into your future. Augmentino, yes, Claire says, Augmentino. He was a huge mentor of mine, and then we became friends. Crazy. You'll attract your mentors, but my friendship was nice. His information as a virtual mentor was life-changing. That's the difference. So I said mentors and masterminds. Mentors are, you can create a, a group of people that will guide you and direct you in your network marketing journey to save time to move forward more efficiently. They're like a literal time machine. You engage with this mentor and you become three years smarter without being three years old. Hmm, They're literally hard. like a cheat. They're like a shortcut. So mentors, number one, masterminds, number two. What do I mean by that? Your environment again. Surround yourself with people that are going in the same direction as you. Surround yourself with people that have the same dreams as you. Surround yourself people with people that are more successful than you. They will pull you up. So create your own mastermind. For this weekend, we are a mastermind together, sharing ideas, learning and growing. So mentors and mastermind. Number six, speed, speed. Speed is a key. Slow and steady does not win the race. Not for an entrepreneur. Slow and steady will starve you to death. You need to add speed to your network marketing business. Speed in making a decision. Speed in getting some, something done. Speed in recruiting faster. Speed in getting to a rank faster. Create velocity within your organization. Have your organization be known for speed. Let's do it. Let's sell out our company's next convention. Let's get the people in our organization to the first rank. Let's qualify them for fast start. Michelle Santa Maria says, I speak too fast. Sorry, I get excited. If you think I speak too fast, wait till you get some of the other people coming up. <laughs> Here's the thing, speed, speed. The big myth, I'd rather be the turtle than the rabbit. Not in, net, not in network marketing. 
You know, people say, well, you can't beat somebody that won't quit. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If somebody's just like doing this, this is this is what they're inch by inch. It's a cinch, you know. I'm gonna get to success. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, I don't need to be fast. I just need to stay involved. You know how many people I've known over the course of my life that they're like five years into their network marketing journey and they're like, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still alive. They haven't rank advanced in forever. They haven't recruited anybody in forever. They haven't added new customers in forever. And they think by hanging around, it's gonna create success for them. You've got to put some speed into your business. Recruit 20 people in 30 days. Go on a 90 day run. Those 20 and 30s and 90 day runs changed my life. I'm gonna teach you tomorrow why to do a 90 day run and how exactly to do a 90 day run to change your life. Who's ready to change your life? Show me some hands. Let me see. 90 ready? days run, he's talking about. He's talking about 90 right, days no. challenge. So have you even started planning? Guys, have you even started planning of your 90 days game plan, like from January to March, what you're going to do? In fact, all of you at the end of today, you give me what you plan to achieve 90 days. Your, the third episode of our 90 days game plan. Our 90 days game plan of recruiting 30 persons in 90 days. You can even choose to do 30 days game plan, 20 persons in 30 days, it's possible. Number seven, number seven. So number one, environment, number two, skills, number three, adapt to change quickly. Number four, self-investment. Number five, mentors and, mentors and masterminds. Number six, speed, and number seven. Ready? Yeah. Obsession. <laughs> Obsession. Show me anybody who's ever done anything great without having a level of obsession about accomplishing that goal. And I'm not saying obsession in terms of full time. I'm saying obsession in the time you have. You have two hours a day, you're obsessed in those two hours. You're dreaming about it, you're thinking about it. When you're having lunch, you're thinking about it. You're obsessing about it. You're focused about it. Steve Martin wrote this great book called Born Standing Up. He said, if you want to be a comedian, your friends need to be comedians. You need to be writing jokes every single day. You need to be performing for all your friends. You need to be thinking about it during lunch, and you need to be thinking about it when you're having a cup of coffee. It needs to consume your brain. That's what I'm talking about. When this starts to consume your brain, you'll go from stage one to stage two. You'll go from stage two to stage three. But I will tell you right now, greatness requires a level of obsession. Show me anyone in the world that's done something great without a level of obsession around what they want to do. I don't believe you can show me that person. But think about what is your level of obsession right now? Totally obsessed, 100, not at all, a one. What are you on a, tr on a scale of one to 100? Put it into the chat, what are you? And could it improve? Show me some hands if it could go up. So level of obsession, guys, this word obsession, I read a book, 2018, Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardo. It's a nice book, I recommend it for most of us. When I read that book, I now read Senex Action. Guys, these two books, as in, gave me a spirit, as in, I adapted a spirit from these two books. And that was when my business exploded in the year 2019. I was obsessed. Ambassador Blessing, you can testify to that when I was in Sokoto. I was really obsessed. Obsession means your total concentration and focus on that particular thing you want to achieve. Be it you are a part-timer, you say two hours I dedicate to my business, one hour I dedicate to prospecting, 30 minutes I dedicate to inviting, making focus. Once you're obsessed, as in your whole body, everything about you is consumed with that idea, with that activity. That's what obsession means. If you are not obsessed with what you want to achieve, you'll be an average. Guys, I know what obsession can do. Obsession means you tell yourself, like, I'm someone, let me unmute someone. 
Nishna Henry, you had the privilege of coming to my studio, yes? Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So there was something I hid from you that you didn't see, but do you notice a, 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 a sliding window opposite my table? I covered it. I covered the blind. Yes, yes. But the blind was covered. covered. I didn't notice covered. anything. I didn't yeah. notice anything, but I saw that the blind was covered. It was covered, yes. I intentionally covered it. That's where my vision board is. In fact, I had to Re, re, remodel my vision board. I call it Vision 2020. Ambassador Blessing, when you came to my studio, you saw you saw my, my vision board for 20, that was 2020. I couldn't do 2021. Now, guys, I am obsessed. The reason why Eminent Augusta is doing is because of obsession. The reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, you see me doing all the activities, I'm, I'm obsessed. When it's time for me to mentor and train my team members, I'm obsessed, I'm dedicated. Before that, I walk towards it. Sometimes I sleep 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Why? Because I'm investing in myself and I'm also preparing things to invest in you guys. Those of us in D12, in the group of D12, you saw some things I'm posting there. Very soon, I'm going to repost it today. And when I'm done with my announcement today, I'll repost it to the Star Mentors group. Yes, you need to be obsessed. As in, obsession means either you are doing it full-time or part-time when you say so so hour i'm dedicating to this be obsessed in doing that thing you say you are dedicated to on that hour so the question is are you obsessed about our business are you obsessed of the goals you need to set a goal all of you listen to me here you need to set a personal goal as a member of this organization as a mentor what you want to achieve the next rank you want to achieve then as a, 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 a partner of empowered consumerism, how much you want to, what's the next rank? Then as a mentor, a leader that have people that have connected under you, what do you want to achieve for your team members? All these goals, you must set them. So let's finish, it's remaining three minutes. Oh. We let lights get in the way. We let this stuff start to mess with us. So those are seven keys. We're going to be talking a lot about this, about decision, about acceleration, right? About how to think bigger and equip you to actually not just think bigger, Gwendolyn, not just think bigger, David, but to go do it. Christian, we can make it happen. Adriana, this is your time. This is your moment. This is your situation. You don't have to play small anymore. You don't have to live in the excuses anymore and you don't have to beat yourself up anymore. Here's what I want you to think about right now. This event is about ripping a new page. What has happened prior to today was only meant as an education. It wasn't meant as a, uh, a stick to beat yourself over the head with, over all the things that you didn't do. I want you to, to forgive yourself for any lack of action, for any lack of courage, for any lack of rank, or any lack of income. Let go of all that stuff right now. We're going to rip a new page. Today is a new day, and we're going to build you from scratch over the course of these three days. And when you're done, when we're done with this, you're going to be able to go out into the world totally self-reliant to be able to go achieve what you're meant to achieve. So I want to say this and hear me when I say this. I'm proud of each and every one of you for making the decision to become an entrepreneur. I'm even more proud of you for making the decision to do so in network marketing. And I'm proud of you for investing in you by being, in, being here for these three days. Plug in. It's going to be epic. And what we have in store for you, we've never had an experience like these three days in our 12 years of doing this. So let me introduce um, one of our first keynotes. Okay, so um, the, this event is a three days, three, three hours per day event. So Subsequently, in the course of our training, in the in subsequently, I'll be introducing us. I'll be sharing with us the um, I'll be share, sharing with us some of the events, things we learned in the GoPro. This is just like one part. I've already shared one with us, um, Lisa Nico. Those of us that attended, how to get um, how to give yourself a hundred thousand second chance. 
I'll be dishing out the training we had in GoPro this year, November. It's a paid event by network, um, network marketers around the world for you to attend you pay. Um, this year, it was a bit cheap. They did a promo and it was almost 30,000 naira. Very cheap you attend. That's $26 thereabouts. Okay, so tell me guys, um, what did you learn? What did you learn? Just in summary, very short. Tell me, what did you learn from this section? Huh? Tell me, what did you learn? So um, you can unmute yourself and speak. You can unmute yourself. Okay, Mrs. Bamidele, go ahead. What did you learn? <laughs> Good morning, <ma. laughs> once again. <laughs> you caught me on that way. I was talking with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you were uh, uh, or why you were talking to him? He wasn't distracted. <laughs> no, no, I was not just coming in. <laughs> I've been listening to this. Uh, <laughs> well, I am highly encouraged. You know, even you are embarked on a journey and you are being told what you're going to meet, you are given the landmarks, mm -hmm. you will be encouraged. You're not just walking as a as somebody mm -hmm. lost in the space. You, you know that, yes, you are meeting this, this is this, and the decision, what and what I have to do on my own part to achieve what I target. And once you have been told, the journey will be smoother. Yeah. Honestly, I appreciate this sharing today. And then I want to crave your indulgence that if you can listen to it again. Yes, I'm recording. I'm recording. I'll send it out. Okay, okay. And also those books you refer to, if we can get, I can get it. Okay, I don't okay. mind. Uh, during the uh, training, you hear you hear the names again. Just for it to go to YouTube, search for them, then subscribe. And download. To their okay. Okay. Not okay. even download. Subscribe to their channel. Subscribe. Then okay. on okay. Instagram, search for their them. Search for their genuine account. Subscribe to them. Um, I, there's something I thought of as a blessing. I thought her on my Instagram. It's just that Facebook I didn't know, but now I'm very selective. I don't accept any kind of friends on Facebook. I look at your background and your profile if you're someone that can keep that. You see Instagram. That's a problem with Facebook. That's why I didn't Facebook go is, But you see Instagram. You see Instagram and Twitter. It's just mm -hmm. that when Nigerian government banned Twitter from Nigeria, my account has been banned. I don't know. I can't access Twitter again. But you see Instagram. In Instagram, eh, guess what? You can select people you want to be seeing their posts. If you look at my Instagram, my Instagram is a form of education for me. I thought Ambassador Bless in that. When you have Instagram, go and search for John, John, um, John Maxwell, Subs follow him, search for Jim Rose, follow them, search for Les Brown, Eric Warren. These are people that every day, mentors, um, people like Grand Cato, mentors that are dishing out stuff. Even on my channel, I don't, uh, uh, you can even follow me on Instagram. I don't dish out rubbish. People that give valuable content, okay? Okay, so thank you very much. Okay, Engineer Henry, are you there? Go ahead, share with us. We've already spent so much time. Okay, good morning. Yes, good morning. Yeah, uh, what I learned, I learned, what I learned is to le how, learn how mm -hmm. to, you know, adapt to change very quickly. Because uh, this is our last night days challenge. La last night days challenge. I, I encountered so many challenges 